Hey y'all, welcome to CC's Texas Garden. Guys, today is a very special day. Very special. Why? Let me give you a hint. I got the scale, y'all. I got the scale out here. <laughs> so that must be the day that I am weighing my watermelon or watermelon wars. So, <laughs> we're going to go out there. I am going to show you me clipping it from the vine and weighing zero and out the scale. And we're going to weigh these bad boys um, <laughs> out here. Okay? So, I have been enjoying Watermelon Wars. Why I have? Because the trash talking yes <laughs> I have been enjoying the fun of the trash talking to get up under people's skin ah oh, like broke said from the beginning we are all gonna be winners because we grew watermelon right well for one of us, some of us some just grew leaves I don't know if you can eat watermelon leaves maybe we you might want to check into that for the ones that didn't produce anything. Uh, or maybe leaves will be part of the category next year. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah. Part of the Watermelon Wars was to talk the most trash. And if that award goes to anybody. I say that award should go to me. I say I have aggravated more people and have said the most trash talking of all. <laughs> and I just want to say to all the people that I have trash talked to and, uh, you know, think I'm just a troublemaker, think that, you know, I just be talking some mess. That was part of it. That's what I was supposed to do. Okay? So... Don't be hard on your girl. It's all love. So, <laughs> now, in my garden looks a complete crazy mess in here. Um, we had the lawn man come yesterday and he mowed. And uh, I had my raised beds out here. And I was like, crap, I got to move my raised beds. So, I just threw everything in here. Even my netting that I'm going to change around. Because this garden is going to look so different after I get these watermelons out of here <laughs> yeah so before we get to the watermelon let me put the scale down before we get to the watermelon <clears throat> I want to say I started these I can't remember when I want to say I started the seeds back in March April maybe something like that and I started it with that stay green mix, y'all. Yep, thinking, okay, I'm gonna put them in the stay green mix and blah, 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 put it at the ground. And they just stun it. They didn't do anything. They grew to a certain height and that was it. They didn't, they didn't do much. So then I thought, okay, I'm gonna add some compost, replant them in the new compost with the stay green. They didn't do anything. So then it made me later trying to grow some watermelons. And uh, so I figured, well, I'm out of competition. But was I going to say anything? No, I was not going to say anything. <laughs> uh, I was just hoping maybe, maybe something to pop up. So one day I was looking through the watermelon thing. I was moving, getting ready to weed eat. So I was moving some of the little you know, scragglers that kind of move out the, the leaves. And y'all, I found a little watermelon growing. I, but I was like, oh, I got a hand-sized watermelon. I was so excited. I mean, that, I had won the wars right then because after the stay green issues, I was so aggravated. 
I'm like, golly, you know. So then I found out. Now, I was, I know I'm dragging this on. Listen, that's okay. We got time. <clears throat> I probably put this as a premiere <laughs> for y'all can listen to me. Okay. So then I have found out so much information about watermelons this year than I have in the past year. Cause I did watermelons um, uh, last year and I grew a total of, I think 25, 30 pound individual. It was like one 10 pound, one this, you know, so I think it was 30 completely. Maybe it was 25, but, uh, they were separate though i did the charleston gray last year but this year i have got so much watermelon knowledge i am so ready for 2025 y'all i i'm so ready because i'm like i didn't order some crazy size seeds um i ain't gonna say what company but yeah and then i found out what seeds are the ones that really make big watermelons everything i'm like now i know now i know how to grow them i got a good friend that she grows huge watermelons she's not in watermelon wars but that woman can grow some big old watermelons and i'm like oh wait okay so um i as you can see i have watermelon vines over there over here over here now I know this is going to hurt all the people that's in the south that know we got until November before it gets cold and say, Cynthia, you can still grow some watermelons. You can still have some watermelons growing. But the point is, um, Watermelon Wars ends on October 1st, which gives me um, one month and a week. And... If I don't have a big watermelon by now, then I'm not going to have one in a month and a week. It, it, it's just not going to grow. Like, this bed is beautiful with the leaves. I have some Jubilee watermelon um, vein, uh, vines going on right here. I haven't seen any watermelons. So, this is getting cleared out. I know. I know. Gasp all you want to. But the leaves will be composted part of the raised bed uh not this raised bed but <laughs> any one of them empty ones and so it's not going to waste it is still contributing to the garden okay yes the leaves are beautiful look at the beautiful flowers growing i mean just just beautiful these are all male so they don't mean anything anyway uh <laughs> unless i get a female but beautiful leaves now, I'll tell you who had some beautiful, gorgeous leaves was Micro Farmer. I know I gave him a hard time. I, you know, I'm, I'm cool with him. <laughs> but, yeah, I gave him a hard time with his leaves, you know. But they were gorgeous. They were beautiful, dark green. They were luscious. And do you know, after we got off alive, he ripped all his stuff out. Just, like, ripped it out. <laughs> He's like... <laughs> No, I'm not growing leaves. I'm not growing all these male flowers. <laughs> but he did have a beautiful leaf. Um, yeah. Anyway, so this is clearing out. This over here. Let me get over here. This area here. Underneath here is that stay green soil. Because I never moved it. So when I pull this up. Now they've got some some nice size leaves. Look at these leaves. I mean, what does? Yeah, let me show you. Yeah, there's some nice size leaves in here. But that's what they are. They leaves, y'all. <laughs> the leaves. Um. Yeah, I'm pulling them already up. But I wanted to show you underneath here the stunted ones. I can find them. Because these are just laying on top. These are all vines that are running on top of this. It's not in that bed. It's running on top of it. I was trying to find some of the stunted ones. Because I just left them in there. I was like, oh well. Underneath, 
All these leaves. Where's my little stunted plants? Okay. I think this is one of them. Yeah. Let me move all this other stuff off of it. Now it's trying to... This was one of the little stunted plants with this stay green stuff. And it was just... It was just this part for the whole time it's been sitting here. It's finally trying to throw out some leaves. And that may be because <laughs> I threw that that nitrogen on them. So they're like, let me throw some leaves out here. But yeah, all of this... Nope nothing it's nothing in here there's no melons in here see it's just on top of this mound of nothing mound of nothing there's another one that was just stunning sitting here there's another one that was just sitting here stunning the ones with them yellow leaves like that that's all it was yeah nothing grew in this stay green now like i said some people have success with it but they're adding compost but you didn't supposed to have to add that it said nine months of feeding right okay so as you see it's just a mound of soil that i will put in at the bottom of one of my beds okay let's get over here y'all what i had in this container that one don't show nothing okay so i had rattlesnake watermelon in here now look when i posted it, march 1st this is when i put these in here march 1st water uh that was rattlesnake this is the orange watermelon i got these seeds from jones true and this is the white wonder watermelon i got those seeds from teagsy so that's what was in this bed. So I don't know what these watermelons are until I open them up. But we're going to open them up and uh, see what they look like. Now I haven't watered this bed for a couple of days. Because uh, they said if you don't water it then the sugars will stay in the watermelon. It won't make them uh, diluted or whatever. I don't like watermelon. Now I am going to taste it anyway. You know, because I taste my food that I grow. I might not like it, but I do taste it. So, I will be tasting it. So, let's get into this first one here, which I know is not the winner. <laughs> there is our little nice size watermelon. I don't know what type it is. It may be an orange. It may be a white wonder. The tendril is definitely dry on it. Heck, the whole thing. Let me tell you, when I did that um, super juice, I threw some over here to my watermelons. <laughs> so, I'm like, oh my goodness. I literally, look at the leaves. I burnt up some stuff in here. Yeah. And, and I don't know if I pre-burnt the tendrils. That's why I let the watermelon stay a little longer. Because I didn't know if I pre-burnt pre it. But, it's a nice size softball. <laughs> so I say I did grow watermelon okay we're gonna we're gonna weigh that softball in a minute and without further ado because y'all like come on Cynthia don't be holding us in this video okay but here is my first and final because like I said I'm taking all this stuff out of here today <laughs> uh weigh in of my 2024 watermelon and uh there she go right there or he go she go they go whatever <laughs> see the leaves i had burnt the leaves on this poor baby but look it's at least hand size <laughs> and it, it's actually bigger than hand size because i hate okay so let's see uh the tendril right here oh heck all the tendrils i mean that poor plant this poor watermelon went through it now it has gotten heavier um and and it does have its little sunspot here's this little sunspot and they say when it has a little small little pinhole like that that um 
that it is a good sweet watermelon so i'm hoping so uh this watermelon is for my mom my grandbaby and my daughter um they like watermelon i don't but i will taste it because i grew it so it is a nice solid watermelon a heavy watermelon at first it was not that heavy but i guess we're not watering it <laughs> okay so I have these pavers. I think I'm going to use this paver to put my scale down here. All right. Try to make it level. Get my little scale over here. Because I'm curious to see how much that watermelon weighs. All right. You see me cutting it? <laughs> there we go it is now released from the earth now I may measure it it got a little sunspot as well okay let's see if I can zero out the scale first there's zero <laughs> uh, come on now it should weigh something Said heck no, Cynthia. So apparently, my scale is not too on the way because when I stood on there, it said I was 85 pounds, y'all. <laughs> okay, but nevertheless, we're gonna go ahead and harvest this watermelon because the sun is trying to come up over there, and I plan on doing a major clean up today of the garden bed. So I know it's not. A 34.5 watermelon it's not I do want to I want to weigh this thing I'm gonna see if I can take this inside and weigh it maybe it need to be on a flat surface but I mean that is like I said I feel I feel like it's maybe three pounds it's a nice solid little personal <laughs> small watermelon i don't think it's supposed to be in a personal small watermelon but uh i don't even know what type it is but all right here is my clippers and it is released from the earth okay we're gonna take this bad boy in we're gonna open it up oh and uh see what color it looks like as all right guys so even inside it's not it's not weighing so but i tried anyway we're gonna go ahead and open it up i'm gonna go ahead and open up this smaller one to see what color is it oh okay <laughs> it's the white one it's white in there this is a white watermelon so these was the one from Teagsy that's the white wonder watermelon okay cool it's it smell like watermelon y'all <laughs> I'll do a taste test in a minute okay now let's check this one out since it do have a different pattern I'm thinking this is the rattlesnake one it may be the orange uh, orange one from Jones true but I think this is the rattlesnake. Okay. Let's see. How do I want to open it? I guess I'll just cut it across. Whoa. <laughs> it's the orange one, y'all. <laughs> it's the orange watermelon. Okay. Cool. So, Jones Truth. You have the biggest watermelon in my garden this year. Okay, so I'm going to put these side by side. We have the orange watermelon from Jones Truth. And we have the white Wonder Watermelon from Teagsy. All right, now here's the horrible part. I got to taste these things. <laughs> Here we go we're gonna go ahead and try this watermelon out i have like i said enjoyed watermelon wars so 
I'm gonna go ahead and eat the produce that I produced. <laughs> so this is the white Wonder Watermelon. It smells like watermelon. It tastes like watermelon. Yeah. It tastes just like the red watermelon, except for it's white. So, great job, Teensy, with those, um, that watermelon, definitely. All right. So, this is my first time ever tasting orange watermelon. I've I only traditionally ate red watermelon um, being a June baby. Lots of red watermelon. That's why I don't like watermelon, because... Sorry, see, <laughs> because we ate it all the time. Like summer was just full of watermelon every day, all day. So I did, it just burnt me out. Now, here is the orange watermelon. Okay, it have a different taste. Really? It's not as sweet as the White Wonder. Hmm. Nope. The White Wonder is actually sweeter. Hmm. Go figure. Now, they also do have yellow meat watermelon. I know that um, David had just um, opened up his watermelon and it was a yellow meat watermelon with a dark solid green rind so i'm gonna try to get some seeds from him um to try to grow that one as well but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video like i said i have enjoyed watermelon wars it has it was fun and i'm still gonna talk mess because we still got to october 1st and i'm hoping that there will be a queen at the end of this, October 1st. Go Queens! <laughs>